and welcome to another edition of Peda Remote. I'm Dominic Piper, your host, and today I'm joined by Western Areas Managing Director, Daniel Locker. Dan, thanks for joining us. That's a pleasure. Uh, I know it's all a bit strange, this, this uh, new remote access and remote work for us all, but uh, we'll do the best we can and hopefully we stay online together. Dan, uh, we are in a period of great uncertainty. Um, does Western Areas head into this period in, in good shape, in stable condition? Yes, look, uh, it's a good question. And um, look, we, we are pretty confident that we've got what we need to, to work through all this. I mean, you know, we're going to have, uh, you know, a really tough time. Um, uh, I, I guess the company is in strong, you know, with, with a great, uh, strong cash balance. And I guess what you're hearing in the market is cash is king. So, um, you know, we, we are really haven't pulled back. Um, anything in terms of the construction at Odysseus, and of course uh, the mines are still going flat out at uh, Forestania, and we've had no issues. In fact, uh, recently we've actually had calls out of China from our off-tick partners um, as to um, are we, you know, other ships coming, and we said yes, they are. So absolutely business as usual, and uh, we've got the, the 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 bank balance to actually see this through. Yeah, you look like an incredibly stable company at the moment. Well, what's your immediate plans from here? Do you just carry on business as usual where you can? Look, it's it's about weathering the storm. I think we're you know we we're working through Amec, uh, who are in touch with the CME, which is the uh, you know the Minerals Council. Um, they're doing great work in the background with the government, um, and we've got really strong support at the moment from government to carry on business as usual. I mean, at the end of the day, you don't want people now losing work. There's enough people in town losing work without us then putting another further burden. But look, things are dynamic. Things are changing by the day. And uh, we are prepared to react. We're following the full guidelines as laid down by the, 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 the government as a platform. And then we are adding on top of that our own um, company, we're talking to IGO, we're talking to Nickel West, we're talking to, uh, to our peer groups on what is best practice at the sites, and we're trying to consolidate that across the groups. That's really heartening to hear there's, there's such collaboration and cooperation going on between companies. I mean, because you're always friendly rivals usually. Uh, there's, a, there's an inevitably going to be a recovery. Um, everybody's agreed on that yet. We don't quite know when, well, when it will be. How do you set the company up for, for that recovery, particularly in nickel prices? We, we get these odd days which don't seem to match sometimes what is ap- happening in the, you know, the broader sort of macro community. And that's, um, I guess, a worry because it's not following fundamental logic. Your shares are moving up and down uh, on other uh, sort of fundamentals rather than the, you know, the, the true requirements of the commodity price. But... The, the concern really is where we're heading. Um, today, we could all say things are okay in terms of you know, where the mines are at. But I guess the problem is, is where are we going to go to in the next two months or three months? I think that's what everybody's worrying about. Are you still on track at this stage to meet FY20 guidance? Well, look, I mean, you know, we will, we will come out with the quarterly, the March quarterly. We haven't put any uh, market information regarding changing guidance. So, Look, at the moment, we, we, it's business as usual for us. And, um, you know, our product is being sold into Cambalda, Nickel West, and into Jinchuan up in China. Great. Uh, of course, you're not just a producer. You're also a developer right at this very moment with the Odysseus project. Uh, is the development work continue? Is that business as usual as well? Yes, it is. I mean, look, we, we are looking at things like rosters. Uh, um, but at the moment, it's business as usual. Um, obviously, potentially people are saying, well, what is, um, you know, essential work, um, building a new mine, uh, for the future, probably, um, you could argue, is it essential today? Um, but there's been no directive out of anywhere saying that that is, um, you know, that we should curtail that activity. And so it, it's business as usual, but obviously we are keeping a very close eye on, what the government and, and the guidelines coming out from, from, from that department. Great. Uh, looking at the, uh, it, it, your business, you locked away two new offtake agreements at the start of the year. Uh, if they, I understand they're on better commercial terms, as you see it, than, than the previous offtake. 
Yeah, look, I mean, the timing, as you could, looking back now, is superb because I don't think we'd be in a position to uh, negotiate those right now. They were effectively 1st of February. Um, our view is they're actually um, probably the best in class, very good terms, um, which tends to give me a view that um, the smelters who have got a nickel sulfate even today now, we're starting to see a little bit of uh, change in how reporting is happening. And we're seeing some positive commentary coming out now, especially, of course, out of China, which is, you know, <laughs> not business as usual yet, but certainly ramping up industry. So um, that's, that's, that's really good news for Australia. The GFC was really good um, at the end. In when, when 2011, we, we actually came out, we built Spotty Qual Mine. Um, and, and that turned into a huge profit for us just on the turn of the GFC. So there are some different um, in, in terms of, um, you know, what's happening with this particular uh, time, which is different to the GFC. But I think that there is that positive swing that, um, you know, we're going to see an upswing in commodity pricing for sure. Yeah, thanks very much for your time today and uh, good luck. I uh, hope your health stays well. I hope your operations stay well and I hope we all come out of it together stronger and, and with an exciting time ahead of us eventually. Thanks for your time. Thank you, and we will. And I, and I, you know, the bottom line, what I'm trying to tell my people is, you know, having a job is quite important in these times of crisis. 